Hello my friends, in today's episode I wanted to talk about my current journaling routine. For all of you guys that have been following me for years now, you know that I've been journaling since age 5 every day and that I have hundreds of notebooks saved in my apartment with all the other journals since I was a little girl until today. I think this practice, journaling practice, is something that really made my life improved if not saved my life when I was very, very in a bad place, more health-wise, mentally, energetically, when I was moody and depressed and sad and lonely. The journaling practice is something that always brought me a lot of comfort and peace. Even, of course, it didn't solve my problems because, yeah, I wish journal could do that, but it helped me come to peace with myself and with the circumstances of life that were too hard for me at that time to bear. So I changed my journaling practice. I usually do it in the morning and in the evening. Sometimes I do it more, sometimes I do it once a day only, but I never skip it. And uh, the routine changes. Sometimes I do morning pages, but sometimes I answer some questions. I find these questions everywhere whenever I'm listening to podcasts or reading books where something triggers me, I write it down and I come up with questions that help me to dig deeper into my brain. I'm really interested in finding out if you guys are doing journaling or not. Write me an email. I would really like to know, like, what is your journaling practice? Uh, Currently, what I've been doing during this corona situation and staying at home Uh, what helps me actually get better because during the work days I'm really great but on weekends and on Sundays I get very sad and this journaling practice has helped me a lot during this time so here are the questions that I've been answering every day since uh, the 1st of April this year Uh, first question is what am I grateful for today this is what I do when I wake up Uh, second what would I like most today to happen Uh, Third question, Uh, which friend will I call today to see how they are doing and feeling and if I can help? Uh, Fourth question, which person that I don't know can I support today? And by this question, I mean literally anyone. Like if I like somebody's Instagram profile, somebody's YouTube channel, somebody's blog post, who can I support that is not like a multi-million dollar person you know that already has success and support I usually choose to support somebody who is uh, struggling at the moment not struggling like in a bad place but like you know hustling for their business or their dreams so this is a very important question and it brings me a lot of joy to do that Actually, the most joy that brings me is calling my friend and then supporting a person that I don't know and then the last question is What can I eat and drink today that will make me feel good? Because usually when it's weekend and I can't go out of the home and I feel very moody and tired because it's total opposite of my usual routine. Uh, On usual weekends, I walk for four or five hours a day and I really love walking. Even when it's normal day during the week, I walk at least two or three hours every day. Walking for me is like cleaning the mind. It's like processing thoughts, coming up with ideas. For me, walking is maybe one of the most important parts of my day after gym. So this for me, when I can't do that, I feel like I'm missing a very major thing in my day. So these questions help me out a lot. And if you want me, I'll repeat them. So you can write them down and you can also listen to this again. First question, what am I grateful for today? Second question, what would I like to happen today most? Or what is my biggest desire today? Uh, Third, which friend do I get to call today to see how they're doing and how can I help? And which person that I don't know can I support today? And what do I wish to eat and drink to feel better? As I said, if I don't plan to eat or drink something good, I could literally live on chicken mac nuggets and haribo gummy bears like i'm not even kidding one day i only ate that for the whole day and i couldn't sleep because my stomach was like what did you do to me so i I hope these questions helped you out Uh, and also if you speak serbian i have three journals that i 
two of them I'm no longer selling, so you can get them as gift for free. First of all, first of it, uh, the journals was launched last year. It was called Unstoppable because that is the name that girls from my community in Serbia gave me. And this journal has been in plan for like over two years. It's crazy. It took so much time because I first wanted to have it printed. And then I realized that's not going to be possible because I was not in Serbia for three months. And it would be almost impossible to do it all remotely and to send it to all the ex-Yugoslav region, Croatia, Bosnia, Macedonia, Montenegro that I love. And I have a lot of people that read my blog since 2011 that are from those countries. And I couldn't not send it to them and then I couldn't send it because the customs and all of the stuff it's so complicated in this in my country in Serbia so I decided to put it online and that journal is for people that are journaling for the first time in their life and it actually the idea for the journal was a gift that I made for a very special person in my life and it was with 21 questions to get them into a habit of writing a journal their age over 30 and they've never done it before so I had to come up with some really good questions to motivate them to do it and that was my first journal as I said it's called Unstoppable and it's also inspired by the Kintsugi um, element and that is how the design is uh, it's like broken pieces that actually are more beautiful than the perfect ones that I'll you'll see if you if you want me to send it and if you understand Serbian you'll understand the point behind it and this is a very special journal to me many reasons many reasons like there is so much symbolic stuff in it like the name the kintsugi the questions the time after my surgery in 2017 when I got that nickname so a lot of things are in it and then my second journal was launched in November uh, last year also because uh, November is the time when I always sit down and basically write the whole notebook from like first page to the last page with my plans for the next year and this journal is basically a plan the way I plan my year so it contains 100 questions that helped me tackle all the aspects of my life and to have an overview on what I would like my next year to be so this journal was also on sale it was $15 just like the first one and right now since 2020 we are like half there so I can gift you this journal there is no need for you to pay and then the third journal that I'm launching this year on May 1st is Business Journal. And this journal contains all the questions and more that I ask my private clients that come for coaching and consulting. And the reason I made the journal is because a lot of ladies can't afford my hour, one hour consultation and they want these questions and they could serve them and help them out. They can do it by themselves and it will also be a really great experience. So that journal is $15. And it's also in Serbian. So if you understand Serbian, I highly recommend you purchase this journal because it has amazing, over 100 amazing questions that are all about marketing, sales, visual identity, design, collaboration, and so much more. Like if you have a digital business or you sell courses or eBooks, you really need this journal. And as I always say, like my happiest customers are women who sell digital courses and eBooks, and especially those that are psycho therapists that are life coaches that are English French German or Italian language tutors online of course and the ladies that are in fitness health and wellness industry so those four are my biggest like clients and that have the best success so if you're one of those four either you're in psychologist or you're a life coach or you are in the linguistic business or you're in fitness wellness and health let me know uh, if, and I can tell you li literally if this journal is for you. So I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you want me to send you those free journals, the first one and the second one, and if you speak Serbian, let me know. If you don't speak Serbian, I can gift you my free branding ebook that can help you rebrand yourself because I believe every summer is a great opportunity to completely rebrand your look and your closet and also your digital space. So Whatever you would like me to gift you, shoot me an email and I'll be happy to help.